All right, let's go ahead and understand a little bit more about the email campaign manager module here at uh, yourelevatorpitch.net. The email campaign manager is access to this particular button, but what we want and need to do is assume that you've already gone through and created the first step here, which is creating your business card. Additionally, we also believe that you've written your script, you've scheduled your video, and that your video has been shot and uploaded into the system. So all that needs to happen before you can use the email campaign manager. Top of the page, we see business card here, and this is a hot link where you can go back and create additional business cards or edit them as needed. Down here, we see a couple of different graphs uh, that give us kind of a visual representation as to what's happened from an overall view. So how many emails have you sent out this month? Uh, how many of those were read, forwarded, and so on? And then this year, and then your total amount of campaigns that have been sent out. Uh, down here is a little bit more detailed information. On 7-1, we sent out a uh, campaign to Paul Sanderson. Now, this was a demo, so it hasn't been read, forward, or clicked on. But what can actually happen here is once you create these campaigns, you can go ahead and archive them. So if a job has already been filled, uh, you can go ahead and take that out of your loop, and, and the data will still continue to be recorded. But it won't show at the top of your list. We'll scroll down here and look at some additional things, uh, some additional ones where you can see where the numbers actually start coming coming into play uh, of several different campaigns that have been sent out. Again, this is a demo account. So one other thing I want to explain is about forwarding. So when you forward a, um, or when your email is forwarded, what you'll see is it has to be used by the buttons that are actually on the email template. So this is what shows up in the hiring manager's box. Uh, they can contact you. They can download your PDF resume or any information that you have uploaded from a PDF format. But then if they forward it, it'll pop up our data box. And that data box will capture the names and recipients of the emails that have been sent out. So uh, that's what counts as a forward. If they do it in their email client, then it probably isn't going to pick it up at all. And it won't show up in the forward area. Um, okay, so we go back up here, and again, this person has uh, several different campaigns. We're going to use Adam's first one, and we're going to click on this checkbox, and that will forward us to an area where we're actually going to deploy the campaign. And up here where we have all of the recipients, one of the things I want you to note is that in this case, when you want to add a recipient, we're using commas, and it's really to make it a lot easier. Most email clients will use a... Um, a semicolon, but we're actually using commas, and it's a lot easier to import data that way. In the subject area, you want to make sure that you have something that is very catchy in there, and then you also have the ability to add a couple lines of text. You can actually add a lot of text, but we suggest that you only add two or three lines of text, uh, you know, kind of introducing yourself, and then something in there that is very compelling for them to watch your, your uh, video presentation of your uh, resume here. Uh, the next thing is that once that is done, you're going to need to scroll down just a little bit and all you do is hit send email and that will get the campaign underway and then of course as you go back uh, to the other page you can monitor each one of your email campaigns so that's pretty much how you set up your email campaign manager thanks for listening and if you have any questions feel free to give us a call uh, at yourelevatorpitch.net